when I think that with all the videos that I've talked about and done over the years with people who are some sick, twisted, demented freaks, you have one more that comes along that finds a way to somewhat either reach, touch, or eclipse those previous ones. So this person that you see in this picture name is Christopher Lambrose. And this guy is a nurse or was a nurse, I should say, at St. Mary's Hospital in Grand Junction, Colorado. And he basically got busted for drugging, sexually assaulting and taking inappropriate pictures of his unconscious, pa unconscious patients over the course of six years. But what got me was the number of obscene images that he had 700,000 images they found or roughly around that number that that is insane and this was over the course of six years that means he must have taken pictures of Dan and every patient that he had and did not have but let's get into it Two patients are suing a Colorado hospital system after they said they were drug sexually assaulted and photographed by a nurse, according to a class action lawsuit filed December 20th. About four terabytes of data, and remember, t terabytes are huge amounts of storage, including 700,000 photos and 65,000 hours of video found on the nurse's cell phone relate to his drugging, sexual touching, and sexual penetration of patients dating back to 2016. The nurse, Christopher Lambrose, age 61, who was employed at St. Mary's Medical Center in Grand Junction, Colorado, was arrested October 25th on a warrant for three sexual assault counts, according to the Grand Junction Police Department. Grand Junction is about 240 miles southwest of Denver. Detectives began investigating Lambrose after another hospital employee reported seeing him take a photo of a patient's genitals on July 9th, according to an arrest warrant. The lawsuit filed on behalf of two of Lambrose alleged victims say Lambrose administered medication to make them unconscious before he exposed them naked and sexually touched them while he recorded himself. The plaintiffs were not named in the lawsuit. Daniel P. Rubenstein, District Attorney in Mesa County, Colorado, said in a statement Lambrose has been charged in connection to incidents relating to two victims, but there are four victims total, three of whom who have been identified. It has to be more than four of them, considering this guy's been doing this over the course of six years. The case is set for a return in January as we are still investigating, the statement says. We cannot comment on what evidence we have and also cannot speculate on what we may find. Lambrose drugged and assaulted one of the victims June 24th and then again June 25th while in the intensive care unit, the lawsuit says. When the woman awoke from her unconscious state July 2nd, she had foggy memories of his misconduct, the lawsuit states. She began to tell people around her, including hospital employees and family members, that Lambrose was a a bad man according to the lawsuit she did not learn about the alleged assaults until months after she was released from the hospital she has suffered severe emotional distress because of the assault and invasion of her privacy she is still paying about 905 dollars per month towards a 32 thousand dollar medical bill from her stay at saint mary's medical center Lambrose assaulted the second victim July 9th and took photos and videos according to the lawsuit. An employee saw him photographing the patient and lying with his head on her bare stomach, the lawsuit says. In one video from June 24th that investigators discovered on Lambrose's cell phone, he can be heard whispering into the camera, don't ever get rid of these videos. You need to keep them forever. This is your Dexter collection. Dexter is a crime television series about a serial killer and blood splatter expert. The hospital system's negligence contributed to Lambro's ability to drug and sexually assault patients while employed at St. Mary's Medical Center, the lawsuit says. The lawsuit says hospital staff should be, have been aware of Lambro's use of sedative medication, which he was not authorized to administer to patients, and other employees should have noticed indications of sexual assault on the patient's bodies, including bleeding, bruising, and redness. Additionally, the hospital should have noticed his actions on surveillance cameras placed in patient rooms the lawsuit says the sheer volume of data collected by lambro shows that he engaged in sexual misconduct and invasions of privacy related to his patients on a regular basis given the frequency at which lambro's engaged in these acts his conduct was or should have been apparent to defendants at saint mary's scl health and intermountain saint mary's is a subsidiary of scl health and intermountain Healthcare, which merged in april according to the lawsuit in a statement 
SEL Mountain Intermountain Healthcare said that it placed Lambros on administrative leave after allegations against him were reported. He was fired from St. Mary's Medical Center after his arrest. What this former nurse is accused of is reprehensible and goes against everything we believe and value at St. Mary's Medical Center. Brian Johnson, president of St. Mary's Medical Center, said in a statement, Patients put their trust in us and should feel safe in our care. We are working closely with law enforcement to protect our patients from those who intend to cause harm. The healthcare system said it was contacting known victims victims directly and had a call center set up for patients with questions or concerns. Lambros alleged victims suffered losses, including medical expenses, lost wages, mental anguish, and emotional distress. The plaintiffs are seeking damages in an amount yet to be determined, including pre and post judgment interest and attorney's fees. Lawyers for the plaintiffs say there may be more victims. And I'm almost certain that there is considering this has been over the span of five years and asked anyone who was a patient at the hospital and may have been accessible to Lambros between 2012 and 2022 to contact Rathad Muhammad Bai Bai LLC. I probably butchered that name. Lambros is being held on a $1 million bond. He shouldn't have no bond, according to the Mesa County Sheriff's Office. I swear, this is a, the take I'm about to say I've never said before, but I feel like a lot of these people who get into the medical field or get into the medical profession like himself probably had ulterior motives before getting in there. They need to dig a little bit deeper into his background before he became a nurse. Like what was he in, what type of acts did he engage in before he got there? Cause he could have easily lied on several applications and said that he didn't do anything. I have a feeling that this guy has been engaging in all types of weird behavior before he became a nurse. It's just that when he had a nurse, now it was much easier for him to get into the, into the dealings and what she was doing. And he was around medical equipment or medication and prescription drugs that he could use at his disposal to his own advantage. This guy looks like a sicko. Like think about it. They said this guy has 700,000 images, obscene images on his computer and in over 65,000 hours of video. And they said they found terabytes. Like I said, terabytes is bigger than a gigabyte. Like terabytes is like the biggest one that you can use. And you can store like so you can you can st store like thousands of gigs on a terabyte on one terabyte. So imagine how large that has to be. And I know those investigators are probably pissed because 700. They got to go through all 700,000 of those images and they got to go through all 65,000 hours of those videos as uncomfortable as that would be. That's why I possibly couldn't be an investigator because you got to have a, a good, the good mental fortitude to actually have to go through something like that and register everything that you're watching and hearing. And then on top of that, should this go to trial and it most definitely most should, then you got to relive all of that over again for the sake of the trial. This guy is absolutely sick. And he had no place being in the medical field or working at any type of hospital or just around people. But then also the way that this article structured it, this hospital pretty much dropped the ball on really keeping tabs on this guy. I mean, the fact that this has been going on for the span of six years and no one suspected anything or saw any type of weird behavior, either this guy's a good actor and was able to hide it well, or some people there turned a blind eye and probably knew what he was doing, but didn't say anything. So if, if I was the investigators, I would be shaking down the people that's been working with him from the time he started to the time he got caught. Who did he talk to on a daily basis? Like who was people that he worked with that he talked to consistently, like about anything. That's who they need to talk to. That's just me. That's how I would uh, set it up.